What's up, everyone? Today is Monday, March 23rd at 7.42 a.m. I'm going to do a video watch this today. A um, couple things I want to talk about before I start is today is the last day of our St. Patrick's Day sale. So we have some of our most discounted prices ever on annual and lifetime. So that's going to run out today, and I don't think we're going to plan on doing a sale for another couple of months. Um, so if you're interested, you can click on this link. If you're a member, uh, you can just hit up Tosh. So for those of you that don't know, I'm pretty sure I had the coronavirus. I think I still kind of have it. I'm not really, <coughs> excuse me. I'm not really 100% yet, but uh, kind of good enough to get out of bed. So that's progress. Um, you know, this virus thing is real. Uh, I was in pretty bad shape. I'm starting to feel better. But again, my goal today is to trade in the morning and then get some more rest. I don't want to kind of uh, overstress my body. Um, woke up with like my neck hurting a lot, so I'm I'm just all over the fucking place. So I just want to say thank you to Baltosh and all the other mods for kind of helping me, uh, helping the members while I was away. I hate being away, but I mean I had really no other choice. So I missed a lot of action while I was gone, but that doesn't mean that there's gonna be no more action. So I'm just gonna take it slow today, uh, looking for the best setups only, and let's kind of start with this watch list. So. TNXP, this is essentially a low-hanging fruit, kind of pushed up uh, right towards pre uh, Friday's highs and objected, and now it's nearly red. So, I mean, in a perfect world, what I'm seeing now is a push towards 110, view app to short, 120, 130. Uh, I'm not really sure if I'm just going to be shorting it here uh, into weakness. I don't really like shorting into weakness unless there's a lot of meat on the bone, but something like this. Uh, these penny stocks like to kind of hold a dollar usually, so I'm not going to be really too involved or interested there. BLPH is kind of bouncing a little bit. Um, what I see in the morning is an 18 level here. I see some in the 19s and some in the 20s. So basically using every dollar as my entry on something like this. I will not chase weakness on this stock. Uh, it's very thin, so just need to be very careful there. WTRH. Um, again, another kind of runner that's tanked and now bouncing. Uh, what I see here is pre-market highs are 180, right? So then I want to also short this kind of $192 mark, right? 192, and then if we get up to the, you know, the 220s, which is kind of over here, right? So, I mean, these are the kind of lines that I'm drawing every single morning, uh, ideally waiting for these stocks to get to those levels. Um, what else is there? SNGX. SNGX, this is a new play. Um, if you look at the daily chart, it had resistance towards 350s, but it went towards 3 in the morning and kind of pulled back. So, you know, in the morning, this is what I see. I see some resistance areas. Give me a sec. I see some resistance areas in the 260s. Uh, when I was making this watch just a little bit earlier, VWAP was at 260s. So kind of watching that level. So 250, 260, 270 is kind of the main areas that I'm watching to short this low-hanging fruit. Um, CanF is a new one that's popping up. Maybe 250 is there, but we'll just wait. APRN is another one. I see 16 level on the daily. For, I mean, on the previous chart right over there. Doubt it's gonna get up that high, but if it does, that's gonna kind of be my ideal entry. So again, guys, um, there's a lot of new members that joined over the weekend and last week. Uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for trusting us. Uh, the key that I want to tell you guys is to make sure that you focus on education first. A lot of people just dive into this and they just start fucking trading random shit because they're excited. My recommendation would be to watch the videos, to paper trade, to build consistency on paper. And then from there, you could kind of switch over to a live account. But again, don't be on paper for more than you know three weeks or a month because then that'll kind of screw the way you think about trading. Um, again, I'm really not feeling too hot, so I just want to really take it slow today. I only want to focus on the best setups only. Uh, I don't want to touch any subpar setups. Uh, I'm looking again at low-hanging fruits only and continuation plays only. Hot chicks just trying to stay clear of. So if you guys have any questions, you can DM me. Um, if you guys have any questions about training you could text Tosh at 213-458-5997 and for all the new members what I do is at the end of the video I do a secret word to make sure that you guys are all watching it 
Uh, so reply into the thread iPhone if you've made it to the end of the video. So thank you guys for all the love and all the kind words that you gave me while I was sick. Uh, really helped me stay positive. I'm so grateful to have a family like you guys. So uh, let's kick some ass and hopefully I'll start feeling better. Thanks guys. Have a good day.